Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a completion review, uh, two completion reviews to show you. Uh, these products were both sent to me in PR packages by FG Normal and I've thoroughly enjoyed doing them. I've only just finished this one and as you know, I'm fighting to get all my Christmas things done. So yep, this one, I thought, right, I'm coming upstairs to do a completion review so that then I can get it put on my wall. <laughs> I've got a frame to put it in already, so yeah, yeah, I know exactly where this one's going. Okay, and yeah, I've got one of my little favourites as well, a little uh, wreath there. Very, very pretty. Okay, let's have a look at the tree first, because I have just finished this one. Uh, this one came in a PR package, actually, in September. So I've been planning Christmas since September, and because I seem to have just spent December rushing through everything... Uh, next year, I am going to start doing my Christmas ones sort of gradually. So I may even be doing uh, an ordering Christmas during the year, uh, which may sound crazy, but it's better than trying to get everything done in December because I'm running out of time and I've still got lots of diamond paintings left to do. <laughs> it's a good position to be in, what can I say? I'm very lucky. Okay, so this was... Oh, I just... I can't believe how many colours, 22 different gems and colours on this. And it's just come out, it's wonderful. We've got, starts off with the star at the top there with a little gold star in the middle to highlight it. Then you've got your three different sizes of red gems. We've got the large ones with facets, the medium ones with facets, and then your standards. Then comes down, we've got, uh, oops, it's very, very soft, this canvas. Very pretty, but very soft. Uh, it's just your standard pink. And then we've got some little teeny tiny teardrops to make up this little, like, little bauble here. We've then got these gorgeous purple flowers with the gold in the middle. There's only a few of those, but they're just so pretty and I love them. I've not had those before. We've got some of your little like orange, yellow resin flowers that are in the middle of these baubles. We've got some of the little tiny teardrops making up another like star there in the middle. And then again, we've got the red roses, sorry, the yellow roses, red, going madlies. Um, then we've got some larger green gems and down to these purples. There's the red teardrops at the bottom as well. And then we've just got a little tiny love heart at the bottom here. And then those are little tiny pink yeah, they were marquees without any facets, just to make up that little flower there. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I've just smiled all the way doing this one. So 22 different gems and colours on one little picture. Uh, this one was $5.72, but there is quite a few special offers on at the moment. There's a lot uh, of like buy so many and get one free and posted church and shipping off offers and things. So it's always worth checking. And even if you wouldn't get this one for this year, it is worth getting it for next year because it is just beautiful. I just absolutely love it. The colours, you probably wouldn't put all of those colours together. If somebody said to you, right, I'm going to throw all those colours onto a diamond paint and you'd think, blimey. But it just works. It just, the different sections on the tree and the different way that they've sort of like linked it in together. You know, we've got the pink down here and a little splash of a pink bauble up there. And then the purple, there's just a couple of little purple um, gems, standard gems there to link in with the flower there. It's just really been so well thought out and it's so pretty. I just, uh, yeah, this one is a must and it must go in a place where I can see it as well because it will make me smile. So let's see what gems we got left on this one. Oh, there was a lot because there was a lot of different colours. Okay, that's the little um, labels that I had one on the cover sheet and one on the actual um, picture. It's uh, and one on the gems. Sorry, my brain's going there. I'm just looking at these pretty colours. It's putting me off. So that's the little teeny tiny pink marquees. Oh yeah, there was two sizes of marquees on that flower. So there's the larger ones, and then the really little teeny tiny ones there. So that's all the specials. We've got a spare star, so that was good. We always like spares. We've got some more of the large reds. And uh, these seem to be more berries on wreaths and things. And look, we even got one 
of the ones left over, the purple with the gold. Look how gorgeous is that? And then some of the larger green. We've got one of the lovely little like gold yellowy roses there, little flowers. That's the little pink uh, marquees with no facets. So these are just all the standard gems, standard colours. Say, oh, oh yeah, and the little blue flowers as well. Yeah, they were just in the middle. Oh, I was saying they were teardrops. They weren't, they were flowers. I do apologise. And I've only just done this one as well. Tell you, I can't remember what I did uh, early this morning now. <laughs> Keep my silver out because they will go in my silver's jar. And all of these will go into my crystals. I've got an awful lot of colour matching to do after Christmas. It's also one of those things that I think I should have been doing it as I was going along. And I say it every time and I don't do it. I have to start listening to myself a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so pop those away there. Keep those out. They all want to go into my specials. And they're the extras. They're what I put in miscellaneous ones that are like flowers and different shapes uh, and stars and things. And then the others will all either go into rounds, marquees or teardrops. So, yeah, that's my specials there. Okay, pop those over there. How gorgeous is that? And they feel really nice as well. Is it just me? Or do you like to uh, rub your hand over your diamond paintings when you finish them? <laughs> okay, actually, I'm going to cut this one out now already as well. So, where is my huge pair of rainbow scissors? So let me cut this one out. I keep the edges with the key code on uh, and the picture of the diamond painting on because then I uh, can put that in my logbook as well. It's just something I like to do to keep bits and pieces. This one actually only had one key code on it. So I will be uh, keeping that. Just keep a small amount so that will go in the little bag with the gems. And that will go in the little bag with the gems and the other bits can go in the bin. And I'll cut this end off as well. I try, if I remember, I try and cut off the two smaller ends first. And then the longer ends aren't quite so long to cut out because you've taken a little bit off them. <laughs> Sensing my madness, what can I say? Okay, and then let's do this one. It's best if you're trying to cut out straight lines to uh, use the biggest pair of scissors that you can manage. And then look to where you're cutting and it should keep you as straight as possible. Okay. I have tried using a guillotine on these, but I tend to find that it can start shredding the edge. Uh, and it doesn't work out very well. So I've found it's just as quick now to just use a pair of scissors and uh, do it that way. Just try and get that black edge off. I don't want any black showing. Because this will be going in my frame, which has a white background. So I'm not a huge fan of uh, the specials with a white background. But in this case, I think it works because what background would you put with that colour? it would probably just dull everything down. You really do need to focus on that gorgeous tree in the middle. So that's that one cut out. And, oops, get rid of these bits. And all of these bits can go in the little packet. And then this will go in my ever filling up basket, which I have for all my gems to put away and to enter them in my logbook as well. Okay, and then we got this wreath. And when did we get this one? Let me have a look. This one came to me, this was last month. Oh, no, yeah, last month, November. Do you know, I can't remember where I am, what I'm doing. <laughs> Just put my scissors away. Right, so this is one of the acrylic wreaths. And it has a lovely little scene in the middle there. Some of the trees have got uh, the gold, sorry, the green and then gold and silver on as well. We've got a little snowman there with two children making snowman. Houses and a church in the background. Looks like somebody pulling a sled there. So quite a pretty little scene. 
and then inside each of the rounds is like a little scene as well. I do think this one really uh, would look better if it had lights behind each of the scenes because I think then they would stand out. So I'm going to have to try and work out where to put this. Um, there are two little holes there and there to hang it up. Um, I have got, well, you do get the black um, like thread with it. They're more like, actually, they're like shoelaces, these. They're a really good, strong one. But to be fair, I think I'm just going to put this up with um, command strips. I don't think I'm going to bother putting it to hanging it i don't think i need to do that it's again, not my christmas colors um it's something that I, i've got quite a few sort of in this color palette now so i've put them all together in a little corner so this one will go with those uh i will mm, trying to think if i've got any spare lights that i can put behind you know the little string lights i'll have to look and see if i've got any and see because I think it really would lend itself to those little scenes just lighting up but it's very very pretty I say it's not my normal colour palette Christmas and um, brights like the Christmas tree reds gold and green is green is my traditional Christmas colours uh, but yeah I just thought these were pretty and I do like my wreaths as you know uh, these are all baubles on the tree all in silver and then the blue and the very pale gold ribbon. I think it just really sets it off. Very classic looking. Like a classy Christmas, this one, I think. Particularly with the big posh houses that are on it as well. And the snowy scenes. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah, love doing that one as well. Really enjoyed doing it. And the price of this one was £8.99. So, you know, not out of the way price-wise. I mean, when you think it's a craft that you're actually doing... Um, if you're wanting to make it as a gift for somebody, then it's a brilliant gift for somebody. You know, it's um, something that they can put away and bring out year after year. It will need sealing and particularly if you're giving it to somebody else, I would seal it anyway. Uh, did I have any silver left over in this? Yes, I did. <coughs> OK, so that's just the little... Um, standard gems that are left there and we've just got our silver so let me grab my silver jar we're heading to halfway through uh, sorry halfway full on this jar so yeah I'm collecting all my standard silvers that's how many special diamond paintings i do i do love my specials i like doing the normal diamond paintings as well because i love seeing it come together but at this time of year i do like my specials Okay, and don't forget uh, Mindy, Mindy's Diamond Moment is doing Smashing the Specials after Christmas. So yeah, it's earlier this year. I've got all these bits. What are these from? Oh, they're just little bits of red from when I've opened my advent calendar, I think. <laughs> okay, so that's those two canvases uh, shown to you. These will now be going straight up onto my wall. Yay! Okay, keep watching because I will be doing uh, a tour around my rooms and showing you all my different diamond paintings and everything that I have got up. But yeah, just thought you would like to see these. Uh, again, big thank you to fgnormal.com for uh, sending me these to show you. Uh, it's very much appreciated. I love my Christmas things. Okay, well, if you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below, uh, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, then as always, a big thumbs up is very much appreciated. And if you want to join our little family, you can do that by pressing that subscribe button down in this corner. And then the all notifications bell pops up. And if you click on that, you'll be notified uh, when any of my videos come up. You'll just get like a little note saying, oh, Liz has uploaded a new video. And you can click on it and go straight through to see what I've been up to. <laughs> <laughs> okay well thank you ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now